Hi, this is chapter 3 of MySQL tutorial. The, um, here I am going to explain that how to add the username and password to your uh, to the server in local host. For that you need to uh, first launch this uh, by clicking this local host. You can true, I mean you can navigate this uh, PHP MyAdmin page in the uh, icon of the tray. So I uh, already launched so this is the PHP my admin page. Yeah, here this is an server name. Actually see this is an uh, schema. Um uh, schema is uh, nothing but database uh under the server. So here it's so I am having lot of database here. Uh you can see this uh, username to create here. Here is the uh, user ID and password details of uh, uh, access and I mean uh, is displaying here. Here I'm going to add the user with the same uh, the root local has root need not uh, I mean this root need not the password also. So I'm just clicking this add here this text will take you with key. Here I am going to change this as a local host and I am giving the password. And uh, I am just granting all the privileges to this name and check all the options available to this user and add user. You have added a new user. So you can see this here. This thing, see this is a password record. I am just going to uh, connect it, I mean uh, going to access this uh, server through this MySQL's workbench to access the database. Here just click this, click manage connections, here you can see, click new, you can see that uh, uh, you can name the new connections name also. So just um, I am leaving it as new connections, so here I am changing the name Techy wiki and the host name is local host so I'm just changing. Oh this 3306 is a default. Here I am gonna access the schema also. Schema means is nothing but database. So a lot of databases here. I am just accessing any of the database. Here is some more databases here. Um, by default I'm going to access this SQL training. So what you need to is you need to give the schema a database name. So just I'm going to uh, first check the connection. It's asking the password. I'm just saving this in the vault because this is password uh, protected, right? So yeah, that's it. Uh, it's uh, you, we are able to access. So that's it. Just close this one. Connect the database. Okay. So opening now. I'm just by default. I'm just um, I'm. Just I mean, gonna check with this uh, skill query. This is an SQL training, right? So maybe this uh, this database have only one product name. This product items contains. Uh, I think I don't have any anything updated, but we can even though we can view it. See what is that uh, table in product items? So I'm just giving. This is an uh, SQL query sample query yeah. I mean this is select select is an this is a basic that um, select query is fetching all the uh, items from the particular tables select star from table sorry product items see the table name is automatically displayed so I'm just blocking it and control enter see uh, this result is successful there is no rows here added here that's why it's field empty but that uh, table has, name has been fetched and the table items has been fetched column names yeah there is no field has been updated in this column that's why it's showing is null You can manually update here also.
see you can update here click as an update automatically it will insert the row it's very handy uh, this mysql workbench so uh, you can see now it in the grid and that's it uh, thank you for watching my video uh, please subscribe my channel www.youtube.com slash tech uh, I will meet with your next video with more information so uh, I'm gonna cover the another video with how to uh, insert and create the ta table in the database thank you